approach. The approach. The approach gotta be more gorilla on it. Every night when you go on stage, when the audience, when they get it, it's good. At the end, when they stand up, it's good. So you remember like, damn, the show was crowded. Damn, they enjoyed the material. Damn, they got the jokes. Um, I have to say, the Queens of Comedy was very memorable. Uh, my appearance on Oprah was very memorable. My appearance on Jay Leno was very memorable for me. And me shooting my one woman special, The Queen Stands Alone. I mean, I, I wrote it and produced it myself, so that was major for me. Okay. So it's, it's, it, it happens often, but it's always a good time thing when it does. One of the challenges I face in this business is trying to find my own audience. Um, in the black or the urban comedy world, we all share the same fans. And sometimes that can be a struggle because they don't support like they should or like they want to. I mean, if, if you're in a small town like, let's say, Kansas City, and they bring Arnez J two weeks before you, and then you know, you coming two weeks later, financially they may not, may not be able to come not to see you. But if I could find my own niche and find my own fan base, my own fans, no matter who they are, whether they're white, black, gay, straight, I like to have my own group of fans that really come out and really support. So I think that that's gonna take a little while. That'll come with more experience and once people get edu educated about my style, and then they'll get on board. record for the Guinness Book of World Records. It was crazy because what it was, was we did the Kings and Queens of Comedy, and it was like 42,000 people. I was just one of the first ones to walk out on stage, so they said I was the first one to do it. So I was. I was the first one to walk out on stage. Okay. So okay. I got the record. I graduated from Morris Brown College. I have a degree in business administration, a minor in mathematics. I had chosen to go to an all-black institution because my um, my latter education, like my high school and my uh, middle school, I went to predominantly white schools. So I wanted to have that all-black experience. And the experience that I got from all-black institution was like no other. I mean, I learned sisterhood, brotherhood. I learned the struggle of our people. They had to teach me history, reteach me history, black history, and they taught me about business administration. Um, and they have a passion for black students, and it was an experience that I'll never forget. Um, I know that financially most of them do struggle, but the school was expensive. It was really expensive. It wasn't like it was cheap. Um, being a part of the Atlanta University Center, because with that, um, the Atlanta University Center you have, Morris Brown, Spelman, Clark, and Morehouse, and Atlanta University. So imagine all of that, all those black institutions, and my first time away from home, it was an experience that was crazy. So I, I said that everybody should have the experience at least once in your life. Yeah, I have a foundation. Um, it's called my in, the inner liner of inner lining of my pocket. I give to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have a foundation called the inner lining of my pocket that I give to on a weekly basis. No, but I support breast cancer. I, I support the breast cancer foundation because yeah, I've had some friends of mine that suffered from breast cancer, and so I give back once a year. I love T.I., but, but I have a I have an array of, of people that I love in hip-hop. I love T.I., I love them lyrically. I love Jay-Z, I love Trick Daddy, I love um, wow, Project Pat. 
I love. I mean, I go deep with it. I yeah, love real, all kind yeah. of people. Too yeah. short. Okay. You know, it's it's a lot. Like I I love I love beats. I love Cash Money. I love Lil Wayne. Um, Manny Fresh. I love his style. Like I just love. I love the whole. Era. Big Daddy came from Big Daddy Kane on up. So I'm just, I love hip hop. I lived in, at the time I lived in Atlanta and um, I had a lot of friends that were Africans. Okay. And I found that they, like in the area where I was living, it took them, they had to drive at least five miles to get to the food store. So, you know, me being a business person, I found a need and I supplied that need. And I had found some connections over in Africa and we would do imports and exports. Um, Nigeria. Okay. Nigeria, okay. yeah. I would import like a goosey, sawfish, crayfish, everything, you know, stockfish, you know, all of the, all of the goods. And, you know, it was a very successful store too. I, my business as a stand-up comedian took off so well mm -hmm. that I had to close it down. My website is samore.com, that's www.s-o-m-m-o-r-e.com. Queen stands alone, it is certified banger, it's a classic of comedy specials. Um, and I'll be producing other film projects. Um, I have some other stuff that I'm working on documentary-wise. And um, I'm planning on taking on some entrepreneurial hats and uh, wearing them, Great. doing my thing. Great. Your approach, your approach gotta be more gorilla on it.